obviously sparkle like a jewellery box. And what's more, it's easy to plant and grow. And so in this Renovate How To Guide, I'll be talking you through the steps that you need to follow to grow a hanging basket for crocuses. So if you're ready, let's get started. in hanging baskets and the first thing that you'll need to know is that crocus corms can be purchased and planted between August and October and you can expect them to flower from the middle of February into March. In my hanging basket I'll be growing the large crocus cultivar Ruby Jane which flowers between March and February at a height of 10 centimeters and I'll be growing it in multi-purpose compost. Before planting your crocus bulbs, you'll first need to prepare your basket in two ways. Initially, you'll need to take the plastic liner which resides within the basket and cut holes into it to aid drainage. And secondly, it's advised to take brown paper, the sort of brown paper that you find in a package that you receive from Amazon, and stuff it into the bottom of the basket, as this will help to reduce some of the volume in the basket and conserve the amount of compost that you'll need to use in order to fill the basket. When it comes to planting the crocus con, there are two key pieces of information that you need to know. And the first of these is which way up to plant the con. Crocus con should always be planted this way up with the pointy end pointing up towards the sky. That's how I like to remember it. The pointy end points up towards the sky. As this part here is a stem. It's a part from which the shoots will emerge, the stem will grow, and ultimately, the flower will bloom. This is the underneath part, and it's home to what's technically known as a basil plate, or to you and I, the plant's roots. The second thing that you need to know is how to check that the plant's viable, that it's healthy and that a flower will grow. You can do this by giving the karma squeeze. If the karma's nice and firm, if it's not squishy squashy, then it's a good indicator that it's healthy. Secondly, you need to inspect the bulb, the calm, for signs of mould. And if you can't see any signs of mould, then that's also a clue that it's healthy. I've got a bag of 30 ruby giant crocus bulbs, which I'll be using to fill my basket. So I'm just going to randomly place these columns into the basket, filling up as much space as I possibly can as I go. So as you can see, 30 crocus columns is perfectly sufficient to fill up my 14 inch diameter hanging basket. And then lastly fill the basket up to the brim with compost before placing in full sun and watering. And then come the spring, you'll have a colourful display of crocus. If this guide to growing crocuses has given you the knowledge you need to successfully grow crocuses in the hanging basket, then please ring that bell and hit like share and subscribe and that way just like your crocuses my channel will have the chance to flower and bloom thank you and if you'd like to see more from renovate then look up here to learn how to grow dutch irises in hanging baskets otherwise i guess that's all that's left to say for today's thanks for watching and until next time goodbye